Capricorn, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for January 2018. Now Capricorn, this is just you got a lot going on and you know that this is going to be a really good year. Saturn has stepped into your sign. We're going to do some grounding. We're going to do some maturing. Some layers of your onion are going to get peeled and it started actually in December, but you really have a lot of kickoff happening this month with having some energies in your partnership sector as well having a new moon in your sign and we're ending the month with a lunar eclipse happening in an intimate part of your chart which really just opens you up for an opportunity for some really good stuff i feel like january has the potential to be a really good month for you so we'll talk about that in just a second but for 2018 i hope that you will join me and come and learn for my new feature three dollar thursdays the third thursday of every single month i will be teaching an, an astrology concept and it's a smaller more intimate session so that you have a chance to bring your chart along and ask questions and learn about your personal chart as we're teaching and we're going along. Super fun. I'm really excited about it. I thought it was a phenomenal idea in a way to group teach, but also create a space where we could ask a few more questions and learn and study the charts together as well. So I hope to see you get signed up. You can sign up for one session, one session at a time, five sessions, or just by the year. Whatever you want to do, it's in the description box down below. I just hope that you join me. All right, Capricorn. So this is just, it's 2018 all the way really until 2020 is just so pivotal and critical for you because you're changing, right? And right here at the beginning of the month on the first, we've got a full moon happening in the sign of cancer. This is lighting up your seventh house space. So this is relationships and the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged or adjusted. There's a shift. There's a change that needs to happen here. Now this could very much so be in the space of a business relationship or a romantic relationship. Maybe you've been trying to, in a business relationship, um, negotiate or come to terms or agree on on something and it happens here right like you end the negotiations it's ready to go and step forward yes in some romantic relationships you could have looked over it and gone this is just not working and you decide to leave that of course in some friendships they could be coming apart. You could be like, this is just not working. But more than anything, I really feel like this full moon illuminating cancer energy for you puts a lot of emphasis on your relationship, not only with yourself and the foundations you're creating for yourself, but your foundational relationships with women and your home zone as well. I mean, this is cancer energy. So one of the things I have to tell you Capricorns that kept coming to me as I was writing out your scope is that for some of you, it may be the time to address the reality that maybe what's happening is you're fighting with some depression. Okay, so be very open to seeing if that's what's going on. If you've been trying and trying and trying and it's not moving forward, every day feels heavy, it's time to start having a conversation, which is beautiful because at the end of the month, you're in an amazing setup to be able to do that. Of course, anything else that you may be struggling with in the um, partnership zone, most importantly, the relationship of you with you. Saturn is changing you. The relationship of you with you. You're gonna understand and know you different along the way, Capricorn, and don't be afraid of that, okay? But like I said, I do feel like this full moon can be relatively positive. I think the endings that come could be relatively optimistic. This sits in the middle of a um, grand water trine. So this could actually be a very good full moon for you. Now on the second, we've got Uranus coming direct after it has been retrograde in Aries, okay? Now when Uranus was retrograde, issues with the family, right? Issues that you may have had around mother, past, childhood, your roots, um, anything from the past, really. These rose to the surface, doubt, insecurity, all of these things. When Uranus is there, he's like illuminating it when he is retrograde. Any of the psychological or psychotic problems that may have been popping up, super run to the surface, right? Now he's coming direct, he's shown you what it is, and he's like, I'm gonna help you break these structures down with this Aries energy, with this fiery, let's do this energy so that you can move forward and see that those were your limitations and we don't need those, right? These are your not limitations. The sky's the limit for you. So a lot of things around home, family, real estate, property, children, um, women in your life, your own emotional security, Uranus is going to show you how to create a new way. I love that for you.
On the 12th, we've got a completely loaded sign and it's yours, okay? We've got Pluto, Saturn, who we know is not playing around, Sun and Venus, all right here in Capricorn, and then we're also welcoming in Mercury. Now, where I love this for you is that because it's in your sign, it's giving you an opportunity to watch yourself start to communicate, to think, um, to interact, to network differently, right? Like you're putting yourself out there differently with this Mercury energy. And how beautiful, because even though Saturn's not done with you yet, this Saturn cycle is not done with you yet, it has started and you just came out of a Sagittarian cycle. There is a lot you shed in order to be able to move forward and own that right like show us who you are step up step out yes maybe you've done some stupid things in your past and whatever move on own it let's create something big beautiful and don't you dare hide it's time to be out here in the forefront and so many of you i already know are taking steps to do that and you're so gorgeous for it now on the 16th we've got a new moon happening in your sign so this is a bright new beginning right we plant these seeds of intention at the new moon um Granted, this is where you start things, you begin things, the new you gets to come out, the way you regard yourself, dress yourself, show yourself to the public. Now, I do feel like the one challenge you have to keep in mind here, which you're pretty used to, is just that you may still have some stuff with Uranus up here in the fourth house. While it's paving the way, Uranus is still Uranus, and he could create a little bit of chaos. So just keep that in mind, but this is the thing. I feel like as far as the home zone goes, Capricorn, you're really very used to navigating that. And if something does pop off, or if it's even something really exciting, just keep grounded, enjoy it, be in the moment, Whatever it is, you have the skills you need to make it through it, okay? Now, on the 18th, we see Venus coming into Aquarius. On the 21st, we see the Sun coming into Aquarius. Both, this is a good energy. Sun, Venus together is light. It's magnetism. It's beauty. It's harmony. Venus loves money. Thank goodness it's happening here in your second house, right? And the Sun will bring some vitality to it. So you could certainly have some income changes happening for you. What I think is even more important about it is not just so much the income change or the value change, but that you maybe have a skill or a talent or a something and you're bringing it to the surface. It's available. You see that you can use it. Maybe you've developed a skill that you didn't know you developed and now you see that it's useful. Maybe you did know it and you're putting it out there. This could also be a change too in material possessions. I would tell you just pay attention to what you're purchasing, but other than that, it's your money. You probably worked for it because that's what Capricorns do. Go get it. Go buy what you want. But there's certainly something beautiful, harmonizing, and uplifting coming from this second house energy. Now, on the 27th, Mars is going to be in Sagittarius. So this is the 12th house for you. Now, Mars putting action, putting movement. And some of this, I feel like for you guys, is really a project that's been going on behind the scenes. Um, if there has been anything, Capricorn, that you've been holding on to um, that you just hadn't quite released yet, I think Mars gives you the inspiration to do that. But also here in your 12th house, this is very creative energy. We don't give the 12th house enough credit for being wonderfully imaginative, wonderfully creative. So you could really be doing something beautiful here in a creative space for yourself as well. Be careful because it is in the 12th house. If you are making moves, especially in relationships, Pay attention to what you're doing because the 12th house also holds some delusion, right? Not to say that everything you're going to touch is delusional and not the real thing. Ask questions, be astute, those kinds of things. Now, on the 31st of the month, we've got the lunar eclipse happening here in Leo. This is that eighth house I was very excited about because this is the house of therapy, secrets, trauma, but also just our most intimate things. You know what I mean? The most intimate thing that most of us have is our talent. It's our ability to do something amazing and put it out there and just be fearless and just say F it and do this deal, right? But if there are other things that all, oh, you could also use help, you could use shaping, you could use guidance in, for sure take advantage of this because this is a total eclipse. So it's a, a blotting out of those energies, which creates an emotional reset for us. So if it's time for an emotional reset in your joint resources, your finances, um, your belief systems, your fears, your talents, sex, for sure. If it's time for a reset in sex, do it. If you're ready to take that nature a little bit deeper with somebody, do it. But whatever it is, 
own this eighth house, own this month, Capricorn. You've got so much going for you. I would hate to see you miss out by not asking for guidance um, and not having the courage to move forward. It's a very brave month for you. So I look forward to seeing how it pans out for you. Leave me um, some details about what's going on in the description box down below. I look forward to seeing each of you in $3 Thursdays as well. So click in the description box and get signed up. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in February. Bye.